Ian's contribution on projects fundamentally keeps Alp's technical ability at the forefront of the industry. Ian has a worldwide reputation as someone who can extend the boundaries of engineering details and structures. An Arab fellow is somebody who is first in their field. Dad taught me all the different bonds of the bricks. I don't think many other parents did that. He solves problems other people can't. Arab is full of capable engineers, but for Ian to stand out as he does is a vindicator of how brilliant he is. I always liked maths and numerical puzzles at school. I joined Arup when I graduated in 1976. I hope my contribution over the past 40 years has been to help structure engineers undertake their designs better. Probably about half of my time is with reinforced concrete and the rest of the time on general structural analysis. He's in the background doing the hard sums, making the sort of wow things that Arup is sort of known for. The last project I worked on before I moved to my current team was the Sainsbury Wing extension to the National Gallery in London. In order to prevent damage to the existing building, the columns that support the ground level slab had to be put in place before the basement was excavated. We decided we needed to sort of top down construction, which was still fairly novel at the time. Yeah. It enabled the basement to be built in a, in a much simpler way. So the curvature at mid height is equal to minus that with x is L by 2. Ian's approach is he gets some scraps of paper and he sits down with his pencil and he works out long, long equations. Using his sort of mathematical brilliance, he kind of simplifies all this work down to a really elegant solution. He was involved when the first computers came into the firm, and he's gone through the whole evolution of computers up until now. I think how Ian has ridden that sort of wave so well is his innate sort of ability to understand the maths behind much of the software we use to computer processes. One of the things Ian has done is written RC Slab, which is implemented in our GSA software and used firm-wide and also externally for designing reinforced concrete slabs and walls in basically every building's project. Ian is one of the unsung heroes of the industry, you know, one of the people who work away in the background. The trick is to knowing how those theoretical solutions are to be applied and the limitations of them, and that's where the, the engineering comes in, and that's what Ian can do. When the tallest tower on Hong Kong Island was being designed, I was approached by the engineer who was asking about lateral restraint to the eight mega columns. At face value, the code would require discrete lateral restraints to these columns every 12 or so floors. But we managed to come up with a solution that provided a bit of restraint at each floor level and we therefore managed to avoid having irregular floors and we came up with a much more efficient solution. In the concrete code, you're told to take beta as 9.6 for parabolic. Dad likes to be behind the scenes. Doesn't need credit. No, doesn't, doesn't seek credit in anything he does. Sort of seeks no credit, actually. Yeah. Shining attention on him is something he but finds quite difficult. He obviously deserves it. I hope as an Arab fellow I can convince younger engineers throughout Arup that technical matters are important and there's still plenty of areas of engineering that need to be resolved or improved upon. Mm -hmm.